A hit and run in Tuscaloosa destroyed part of one of the county's oldest cemeteries, and tonight police are seeking new information from the public. CBS 42's Robert Sherman is in Tuscaloosa. He's a first hand look at that damage. Robert? Well, Sherry, the damage here is pretty severe at Greenwood Cemetery. You can see all the way down at the far end. That's where a fence was flattened. That's where Tuscaloosa police believe the car entered the property. You can see some of the tread marks left behind and some of these grave markers that have been toppled and shattered. And you look at some of these grave markers, Sherry, some of them have dates that go back to the early 1800s, which is why some here in this community believe that a piece of their history was destroyed today. At Greenwood Cemetery in Tuscaloosa, grave markers lie in pieces. Sacred grounds sit trampled, and community history, some of which dates back to the 1800s, is in need of restoration. Now, that's an old cemetery. I mean, you can't replace those things over there. Valerie Pearson works in the area and couldn't believe her eyes. Tuscaloosa police tell us that late last week, a truck went off the road, barreled through a fence, and destroyed part of the cemetery one of the oldest in the county. And that's a graveyard. There are people over there. I mean, you have to respect property. Officially, the incident was documented as a hit and run by Tuscaloosa police. And at this time, there are no suspects. But Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says the city intends to fully pursue the matter. That's such an irresponsible action. It desecrates the memory of, you know, it desecrates the memory of those who are buried there. It certainly is, is painful to the families. Um, and the city is going to pursue that uh, to the fullest extent possible. For Valerie Pearson, she's hopeful that the cemetery can be restored. I hope that they can get it fixed and get it back up and because it's a it's history. It's a landmark. It's a Tuscaloosa landmark. And Tuscaloosa police tell us that they believe that the vehicle that caused all this damage you see was a Dodge Ram truck. So that's a vehicle that they're looking for. And if you have any information on this hit and run, you're encouraged to give investigators a call. Reporting live in Tuscaloosa, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.